And so today on Man Caver Tools, we are going to test out the Milwaukee M12 Fuel Impact Driver. So this test really isn't about the tool, it's really about the batteries. We are going to see what the difference between each of these different amp hour batteries actually sort of is. We have a 1.5 amp hour, a 2 amp hour, a 3 amp hour, 4 amp hour, and a 6 amp hour. Now I'm going to do a couple of tests with each battery and see what the difference between these actually are, except duration. Now, we all know that the 6 amp hour is going to last longer than the 1.5 amp hour, or 2 amp hour, and even the 3 and 4 amp hour. But let's see what the power difference is between these for doing the same tasks. All right, so on this log, we are going to test out a uh, 6 inch Spax and an 8 inch Timberlock for each battery, then we're gonna to switch to another log and we're gonna test out a four, uh, four inch by half inch lag. So first let's do the 1.5 amp hour, battery is full. There's no battery indicator on the batteries, but it's on the tool itself. For our four speed modes, there's one, two, three, and then self tapping or automatic if you will. All right, so that is taking way too, you know, I'm gonna continue it anyways. Time, all right, we might not need to do the, the eight inch timber lock because that is actually a perfect example. Uh, the battery's at two bars, it might go up if I let it relax a little bit, but let's take that out. All right, time. Yeah, we're just gonna do a six inch spec. So there's gonna be a major time difference. Now let's do the two amp hour battery. Battery is full. Time, big difference already between those two batteries. Big difference. Right, let's take it out. Time. Next, let's do a th uh, three amp hour battery. They do make another cylinder battery that is three amp hour, but this one has the, the, the wider base. Battery is full. Time, that's more like it. All right, let's take it out. Battery is still full after that. Let's do the four amp hour battery. Battery is full. Time. All right, let's take it out. Then let's do the six amp hour battery. Oh yeah. Time. Big difference between the between the uh, the three of them. I can tell. Not too shabby. It's still crazy that people say that there is absolutely no difference when it comes to the battery capability of doing a single task between amp hours. It's crazy. We are gonna do the we are gonna do the timber lock. Let's do the timber lock. Uh, three bars for the 1.5 amp hour battery. Uh, this is going to struggle. All right, it actually stopped. The 1.5, it has two bars left and it can't go on anymore. Yep, it stopped. All right, so let's uh, see if the two amp hour battery can finish that. Got the two amp hour battery right here. Battery is full. Much better. All 
All right, so that's taking, let's uh, finish that off with a three amp hour. 1.5 failed. The two amp hour could continue, but it's taking so much longer. Uh, let's see if the three, what the three amp hour can do. Or a couple seconds. Much better. It was able to uh, finish that off a lot better. Let's have the 1.5 amp hour battery take that out and see if it can. Yes, it can. Time. I'll do this for you guys. This is going to suck, but... Battery's full, two amp hour battery. Time, that's a much faster than the 1.5, much faster. All right, next let's do the three amp hour. Battery is full. All right, we have the four amp hour battery. Battery is full. Much, much faster. Oh yeah. Time. That is, that was much faster. Let's do the six amp hour battery. Battery is full. Time. I am smelling that motor. This motor's not. That motor does. That motor smells. It doesn't smell too bad, but it does smell. There you go. 122 degrees. 122 degrees so far. Like that's hot. That is hot. Alrighty, so let's uh, change logs and do uh, with the three amp hour, four amp hour, and six amp hour, uh, four inch uh, lag. Alrighty, so the battery is full, still on a three amp hour battery. We got a four inch by half inch lag. I think that's time. Nope, not a smidge more. Time. All right, that did it. Battery, oh, let's, oh, let's take it out and do a battery life. Very, a oh, very powerful tool. Seriously, this is a bad little mamma jamma. All right, four amp hour, battery is full. And I'm gonna start the timer as soon as it actually starts to drive itself in. I think that's it. No, a little bit more, there's a smidge more. Time. Did it. This tool is getting hot by my hands. I, I could feel the tool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys know if a tool's getting hot, if the grease is starting to come off, come out of the housing and go onto the pit. I'm not sure if you guys can see the glossiness, but the grease is starting to come out. Yeah, look at that. See how the shine? Grease is starting to come out of it. All right, but let's switch the battery to the uh, six amp hour. So on speed three, we'll do a temperature reading after this. 
Poor little tool. Oh yeah. Time, that's time. Up oh, a little bit more, sorry. I prematurely pulled out. Time, not too shabby. Look at that, smoking. Not sure if you guys can see that, smoking. All right, so let's pull that out. Battery's still full. Oh, it's like nothing. Like nothing. That six amp hour is powerful. All right, so let's do a final reading on that. 121, 132, 132. So by doing a few things, I get these tools hot. Let's take it, have a quick smell. Yeah, it's, do you know what it smells like? It smells like crayons. It smells like crayons right now. All right, so we have a fresh 1.5 amp hour battery on there, full battery. And that's where it stops. That's where it stopped. So the 1.5 amp hour failed that even with a fresh battery. 135, we got it up to 135. And also remember, it's cold in here. You know, you can see all my breath in the beginning of the video, so. Not too shabby though, like this is a bad little mamma jamma of a tool. And like I said, when it comes to like these two tools, you know, like I would much prefer to get one tool than it would be to get these two tools because these two tools are absolute garbage. I'll put the video right here right now, but this was a smoke show and its third video. Uh, I do want to completely kill it in its next video, which is coming soon. But yeah, I thought it was time to do some 12 volt tools because I haven't done uh, 12 volt tools, my favorite line of tools, and I got to do more 12 volt tools. So, but yeah, this is a bad little mamma jamma, you guys. If you guys uh, got this during the holidays uh, season, then great if you already have it. And if you already destroyed yours and you replaced it, good job. This really is an awesome little 12 volt impact driver. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I got plenty more. I got plenty of videos coming out, and this channel is not going anywhere. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.